had my first wood van when I was 11 years old, which was ridiculous. And from 16 to 62, I probably I used to smoke probably about 30, 40 a day when I was working full time. Went on to 20 roll-ups a day when I got redundancy in 2012. And I was down to about 20 roll-ups beginning of this year. Yeah. And none now. I found it really, really good. I found a Sheikah to be really friendly and supportive. It was very easy to go to the GP surgery and to collect things. And I've got no criticisms at all. It was excellent for me. I've been able to book a flight to go to Israel in November and stay with my cousin for a couple of weeks on the money that I would have been wasted on tobacco. Um, but more immediately, it's the fact that I can actually sort of borrow something off my daughter, give it her back, having washed it, and she says, oh, it doesn't smell of smoke. I'm not used to that, Mum. I've never, ever known you not smell of smoke. Um, so it's not, that's wonderful. I certainly don't cough in the morning, which I always said I did, but I lied. Um, <laughs> and it did get worse over the last few years, which I put down to London Air as opposed to clean dogs air. But I don't cough at all now in the morning. Um, and when I, I, do, I like walking a lot because I'm at Victoria Park and walking around, and I can do it now without getting out of breath. And yes, it makes a big difference. If you want to give up and you've made that decision, then I do think going to talk to somebody about the replacement therapy, the nicotine, the lozenges and the patches and everything makes sense. So I'd use the stop smoking service, but nobody can make you do that. I've been nagged for years and years and years to give up by all sorts of people until you make that decision for yourself and you realise what you can spend that money on <laughs> um, and how better you feel. It won't work, it has to be that person's decision.